This lesson is for Math Pace 1095, and uh, we're going to talk about pages 27 through 29. This is figuring out a percent increase or percent decrease. Um, <clears throat> So they give a formula. If you look at page 27, they give some examples to go through. Um, I'm going to take three or four problems from this particular few pages here. All right, so if you follow with me, I'm actually helping you do a little bit of your homework, not the whole page. And uh, let's, let's see what happens here. So the formula is you subtract the new number minus the original number. So with my handy dandy calculator here, I'm going to do 95 minus 45, excuse me. And I shouldn't have to use a calculator to do that because the answer is easy. It's 40. And then we always, always, always divide by the original number, okay? Not the smaller number, not the bigger number, always the original number. So the original number in this case was 55. So we're going to take 40 and divide by that original number 55. And now I get the number 0 0.727272, okay? Repeating. Boop. I need to turn that into a percent, and I think the instructions tell us to round it off to one decimal place. So whenever we're turning a decimal number into a percent, we move it twice. And again, this is one of the cool rules about math, is you always move it twice, never once, never three times, always twice to turn it into a percent. So that turns it to this, 72, 0.7% and we're done, okay? So we don't have to carry it on any further. We have two digits because that's what it is, you know, to move it, to get it in between here. Round it off to the seven because the next digit is a two. All right, let's talk about problem number eight says the original number was 24 and we're going up to a new number, 37. So I'm gonna do 37 minus 24 is 13. Now again, you always divide by the starting number, so dividing by 24, and in this case, <clears throat> we get 0.5416666666, okay? So again, move the decimal twice, I'm going to let you finish this one, do the math on your calculator, move the decimal twice, but then round to one decimal place. Okay, now, this problem's a little different. Notice, instead of going from a small number up to a bigger number, we're actually decreasing. So we still do the larger number minus the smaller number, 89 minus 54. So we're gonna take 35, and we always divide by the starting number, the original number. So in this case, we divide by the 89, okay? And let's see what I get here, 0 0.3, 9, 3, 2, 5, 8, 4, well, doesn't matter, right? Because we only have to move the decimal twice, and then we stop. So we're going to round to one decimal place after we move the decimal, okay? I'll let you finish that one. On the next page, they have one. That is um, a large number, and we're going from a large number down to a smaller number. And I think the directions in this section, sometimes they go from a small to a large. In this case, we're going from a large to a small. So they want you to calculate what is the percent change and then indicate whether it's a percent increase or a percent decrease. Well, we can see we're going from 365 down to 280. So when I subtract, I get 85. And we'll, we'll divide by the starting number, okay? <clears throat> and I'll let you finish that one. And again, we just talked about this, but once you get the percent, you notice that it is a decrease. So you have to label it that way, all right? 
Take your calculator, work your way through the rest of the problems on uh, these three pages. Make sure you check your work before you, in fact, after every page, if you can. I would stop, check your work, make sure you're doing it correctly because if you are misunderstanding something, you don't want to get the whole page wrong, okay? But if you can get it cleared up at the beginning and then you can start seeing success and get more and more of the problems right. All right, hopefully that helps you with this lesson.